Good point there. Well, knowing what to do with underperforming salespeople is a challenge for many dealerships. But at this week's CBT News Book of the Week, we are going to talk to you about how you can focus on recruiting and, of course, the hiring process. Changing the culture and performance of your sales team takes care of itself. Never hire a bad salesperson again. It's the title of this week's CBT Book of the Week and is written by Dr. Chris Croner, who Russ recently spoke with about the traits that you need to be looking for in your next sales hire. Principal of Sales Drive and author of Never Hire a Bad Salesperson Again, Dr. Chris Croner joins us now here on CBT News. Chris, first of all, thanks so much for taking the time to join us. It's great to have you on. You are so welcome, Russell. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. Talk to us about what a sales manager, or for that matter, anybody in a car dealership, what can they take away from your book that uh, that's really kind of changing the way that people are going about hiring the right kind of talent in sales? The most important thing they, they can take away is, again, although there are several different characteristics that really lead to someone being successful in car sales or in any type of a sales environment, especially the hunters of the world, if you will, things like, again, persuasiveness, relationship skills, organizational skills, at the end of the day, there's really three key traits that differentiate the most high-performing salespeople. Briefly, those are, number one, need for achievement, the person who wants to do well just for the sake of doing well competitiveness, the person who wants to be the best among their peers and win that customer over to their point of view, and optimism, the person who is certain that they will succeed and they're resilient when they face the inevitable rejection that a salesperson faces. It's those three characteristics altogether that are non-teachable that we refer to as drive. And if you put together an interview process, a hiring process, to go after those three traits, you'll become much more successful than your peers or competitors at bringing on those individuals that are a high drive and that have that desire to succeed for you. Yeah, and it, you're right. Uh, many of the dealers that we've talked to, and it seems like in any sales position, that really is the underlying theme, the things that cannot be taught. That's got to be what somebody is looking for when they're hiring anybody in sales, especially in such a, uh, a competitive business as car sales. Talk to us about the past 20 years. This is a question that we've had from many of our viewers that are dealers out there. Over the past 20, 25 years with the digital evolution, what has changed in the way that uh, salespeople that are successful are selling and, and those traits that, that uh, the people hiring them need to be on the lookout for? Well, of course, there's so much more reliance on social media, on connecting online. It's no longer just that one-to-one, -one, face to face encounter. That salesperson has to be extremely savvy and has to be able to keep up with all of those trends. And the important thing to remember about that is you have to look for that individual that has the will to continue to do that. That's where those individuals high in need for achievement come in. They're not the sort of individuals who want to rest on their laurels, who think they know it all, and they're not going to keep up with the latest trends in uh, digital technology. You really want to look for those high need for achievement people that are constantly looking to set the bar high, jump over that, and set it higher again the next time. Those are really the ones that will continue to differentiate themselves from their peers in that regard. Chris, walk us through the selection process and the interview process for a salesperson. Uh, I know it's probably a little bit different depending on the industry and the vertical that that salesperson is in, uh, but from a dealership perspective, this is a, a big component to their success is finding the right talent, but then once you have them, how do you make sure that they're not just selling themselves and, and, and not uh, you know, kind of pulling, pulling the world over your eyes, so to speak, and make sure that you have the right person? That's such a good question because, as you know, as we found, when you look at all of the characteristics that salespeople need, drive is the easiest thing mm. for a candidate to fake in the interview process, and it's, it's the most difficult thing to accurately rate. So that's why, again, when it comes to that overall selection process, we really recommend two key steps. Number one, starting out with a test. You know, we have our own test, the drive test, the only one that really goes into those three characteristics. It's really about using a test up front to help weed out the people, again, who may be the good, clever actors and the clever pretenders. When the person's done well on the test, they've now earned the opportunity, as we say, to be grilled by you in the interview process. And that's when you bring the person in for that one-on-one -on -one interview. And you use those well-constructed behavioral interview questions, like the ones that we provide in our book. You know, asking the person about previous performance, asking them about things that they've done in the past that will consistently help to predict whether they'll be successful for you going forward. So, for example, briefly with something like need for achievement, tell me about the greatest goal you've ever accomplished professionally and really have them flush that out for you. You can kind of pause, reflect back to them. You have to be proud of that. How do you intend to top it? Again, that person who is high in need for achievement has that plan to top it and they're excited to tell you about it. So it's really about using that two-step process, testing and interviewing, that really helps to make sure that, again, you're going to bring in a high-potential athlete. 
And be sure to check out CVT's Book of the Week, Never Hire a Bad Salesperson Again by Dr. Chris Croner here on the CVTNews.com homepage.